I've shot a few videos here in my room and you've always seen my, my setup in the background. I always have three monitors and today I'm going to be telling you why I have three monitors. Yeah, today is a very simple video because it's going to be a short one. It's going to be a very short one. Okay, and this is what I forgot last video. Okay, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is DC. You can call... Hi guys, my name is Big DC. You can call me DC. And today we're going to be talking about why I have three monitors and why I want another one. Actually, I want four. <laughs> All right, let's just talk about first what my monitors are. So my main monitor here, the big one, is a 27 inch from MSI. It is a 1440p 165 hertz monitor. Uh, the one on behind me, right behind me over here, is a 1080p 144 hertz MSI monitor as well. Fun fact about that one. No, I will talk about that later. And then this one over here is a ViewSonic 24-inch 60Hz monitor. We're going to be talking about this monitor a lot more later. Basically, that's the three monitors that I have. So it's going to be just like a story time long of what my monitors are. My newest monitor is the main one, which is the 27-inch. I got it right after this one. And then my oldest one is that 24-inch behind me, which is a 1080p 144Hz. My very first monitor, the MSI 24-inch. It's an MSI 20... I'm not even sure if it's 24. It's 21 or 24-inch, somewhere there. It's a 144Hz IPS... No, VA display. It's my. It was my very first monitor. I got it um, very early into college. I saved up a little bit of money for that because at the time I had a 60Hz laptop which is uh, an Asus laptop. And I wanted to play Overwatch with the 144 hertz. I wanted to try it out. So I got that monitor. I think I got that for around 12. I don't even remember anymore. That was my very first monitor. And I still have it until now. After that monitor, I bought myself years later, like I think five or four years later, I got this monitor, which is the ViewSonic 60 hertz. So you might be wondering why it's a 60 hertz, right? I was really getting into or really starting to enjoy color grading. And this monitor is a 100% sRGB color accurate monitor from ViewSonic. This one was very expensive. This one is more expensive than that 21, 24 inch. This one was, I think, 16,000 pesos. It comes calibrated right out of the factory. Yeah, that's the main reason why I got it. That's why it's a little bit darker. When you have a color grading monitor, any monitor that's relatively color accurate, you want the brightness to be stationary. Basically, it doesn't go too bright and too dark because your colors saturate and desaturate depending on the brightness. So the brightness on this is actually locked because of the calibration. My newest monitor is this 27 inch from MSI as well. I got that one because I, after I got this monitor, I got a desktop now. So I got this monitor when I was still using my laptop. When I got a desktop now, I was still maining my 1080p 144Hz and a GPU that was relatively powerful at the time, which is a 2070, just a 20, just a regular 2070. And I thought, okay, maybe this time I can bump up the resolution and the frame rate because it's a, it's a more powerful desktop. So I got a 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitor and that 2070 gpu is actually not powerful enough to run games on this thing at like max except for like a few games like overwatch and valorant they run really well on this one but if i play anything else like for example destiny 2 apex i'm not playing those games at max refresh rate so i really want to get an upgrade soon probably a 3070 or even jump straight to a 4070 if i get the funds to that's basically why i have three monitors now you might be asking what i put on these monitors when i'm doing stuff so for example when I'm editing, um, I usually have Premiere open on all three monitors. Uh, no, not Premiere. Oh my God. I have Resolve opened on all three monitors. I have my main editing timeline on the main monitor. I have uh, my, my main output on this monitor. And I have my media bins on the left monitor. When I'm gaming slash streaming, right? I have the game on my main monitor. I have either OBS or Discord on the right. And I have either OBS or Discord on the left. When I'm streaming, I have OBS here and I have Discord over there. And if I'm just playing games, I have Discord over here and I have either Spotify or like Google Chrome on the other one. That's basically it. That's why I have three monitors. Now I want a fourth one well i did want a fourth one because when i'm streaming for example i have obs and uh, discord on the left i want a fourth one just so that i can have either chrome or spotify on that fourth one because i like seeing all of the things while i'm doing stuff so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have anything to comment down below comment it down below if you want to watch a previous video click it over here um probably my place is probably being blocked by it by now and then if you want to subscribe right over here all right. See you next time. Bye, Oh, wait. I'm going to cut. <laughs>